Okay, let's look at the word mystery. The first thing we'll quickly cover is the letter T. As we know, we've got multiple versions of the letter T. There's, there, you can rotate the two dashes any way you want or use a reverse S curve. You can then put it together to make ST or TS like so. Okay, that's a quick review. Now, let's put the words to, these letters together in the simplest possible combination. So that would be M, Y, S, T, E, R, Y. Mystery. Okay, we've used this ST. We could do something like this, M, Y, S, T, and use the original versions, and there's various ways to do that, E, R, Y. But I just don't like that version. I don't particularly think it looks good in this case, unless you need it for some kind of visualization or representation. So... Now let's try to make this simpler. Well, what do we have available for, to us for options? Well, the first thing we can look at is the ER. That's the simplest combination we're looking at here. You can put the R inside of the E like so, and that, then you've got an ER. Um, if we put that into the word, we've got M-Y, S-T-E-R-Y. The other thing we can do is we can go into the Y. Um, we've got two, three enclosed space vowels here. We've got a Y, an E, and a Y. Now these are enclosed space vowels because there's spaces inside and you can build in into them. The letters inside follow the, first you would read E and then if you put a letter inside of it, for example, L and then another E, for example, it, this would be E-L-E. -E. Okay. So because we have a Y, we can go M, Y, and we can put an S in there. And then we can go T, E, R, Y maybe. And we could look at that and we go, okay, that's not bad, but we could also go M, Y, and then we can go S, T, E. R, Y. Are you getting the drift? You can continue eating letters until you're happy. You can just keep eating and keep eating. Every time you've got an enclosed space vowel, you can eat, eat, eat until you like the design. You reach the E, then you can decide to eat, eat. You could even put the E, R, Y inside of the inside of the E. So you've got a whole ton of options available here with the word mystery. Let's try to make it look nice. So we've got a kind of long, str long stringy look to it with the letters we've got, and it's a longer word, so it'll start to look like a string. We could try to twist that to make some kind of a mis some kind of a square like shape. We're aiming for square like shape just because we want to kind of evenly space it and evenly occupy space. So let's see what we can do here. M Y. No, I should put that tail the other way probably. S T E R Y. Not bad. A lot more options. Let's try eating it with the Y. Eating letters with the Y, I mean. So M Y S T E R Y. Not bad. As you can see, you can just keep playing with it and find tons of possible ways to write this. Twist it, contort it, change the sizes and ratios. Have some fun with it.